जय श्री कृष्ण फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू हिंदू मीडिया विकी पॉडकास्ट सीरीज इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी अंडरस्टूड दैट आर डेस्टिनी इज प्री डिटर्मिंड एंड हाउ द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कर्मा अफेक्ट आर करंट लाइफ दिस लिंक इज इन बायो एंड यू आर सजेस्टेड टू वॉच दैट वीडियो वंस बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस सो नाउ वी आर आंसरिंग वन मोर क्वेश्चन इन द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दैट टॉपिक If prarabdh karm is the reason behind major events in our life does prarabdh karma determine one's spouse all the major events in our life are predetermined and besides birth and death for a majority of people marriage ought to be the most important of our major events all these major events that are predetermined arise from our prarabdh karmas the rough english translation of prarabdh is destiny or fate and destiny as per hindu theology is predetermined here is one important verse on the screen from nadabindu upanishad it says utpanne tatva vigyane prarabdham naiv munchati तत्व ज्ञानो दया दूधम प्रारब्धम नैव विद्यते मीनिंग इवन आफ्टर अटेनिंग नॉलेज ऑफ द सेल्फ द प्रारब्ध नेवर एग्जॉस्ट्स आउट बट आफ्टर रियलाइजेशन ऑफ नॉलेज द प्रारब्ध इज नॉट फेल्ट बाय द ज्ञानी एज ही कंसिडर्स द मटीरियल बॉडी एज अनरियल हाउएवर वन मोर वैलिड क्वेश्चन इमर्जेस if it's indeed our destiny or fate that encompasses our marriage then where is the free will in that case chandra shekhar bharati swami na who was known to be a jeeva mukta puts this this way fate is past karma free will is present karma both are really one that is karma though they may differ in the matter of time there can be no conflict when they are really one fate as i told you is the result of the past exercise of your free will by exercising your free will in the past you brought on the resultant fate by exercising your free will in the present I want you to wipe out your past record if it hurts you or to add to it if you find it enjoyable in any case whether for acquiring more happiness or for reducing misery you have to exercise your free will in the present another question that arises is exactly what part of the marriage is predetermined and what part is free will for this we can take some help from the eye of the vedas jyotish shastra astrology one of the vedanga one of the major purposes of astrology is concerned with a prediction about our present life based on what we did in the previous life in fact the basic premises of jyotish shastra rests on the fact that the planetary setup position in a native's horoscope is simply a reflection of one's own sanchita karma stored or accumulated actions that will be expended as prarabdh in the current birth an astrologer's work is to predict what part of that stored karma will manifest in the form of major events in the native's life as their prarabdh maharshi parashar in chapter 7 divisional considerations of the brihat parashar hotra shastra also conveys the above concept as follows 9 to 12 after assessing the 20 point strength of the ascending degree of other bhavas and of the grahas the good and bad effects can be declared 
I explain below the method of knowing the Wim Sopak strength, 20 point strength, just by knowing which an idea of the results of actions of this birth and of the former birth will clearly emerge. And thus, the answer to the question might be given on an exemplar basis as predetermined things in a marriage, destiny or fate, prarabdha karma. The kind of spouse you'll marry, the kind of kids you'll beget with them, their general characteristic, nature, overall health, type of career, financial and social standing, the most striking features of the spouse, and subsequent events associated with them as a couple, thus, can always be predicted by a competent astrologer. This is based on the totality of previous birth samskaras the jiva has carried to get to the present birth and thus the kind of people they'll encounter. Self-determined things in a marriage, free will, agami karma. Who would actually, who would you actually marry? Will their name be X or Y? The type samskaras of the spouse have already been predetermined though. How or who exactly your kids will be? The looks of the spouse you might decide, but what kind of looks you look, you like, is already predecided based on your previous birth karma. You decide your kids' names or which school they'll study, but what kind of school, elite, normal, public, will they study in? That already has been decided based on the previous birth. The above classification is derived solely from the Bhavas based Jyotish Shastra methodology of analysis. In the Brihat Parashar Hotra Shastra, we have several chapters dedicated to Bhavas, which provides a basic blueprint of one's life and the kind of people they'll encounter with predetermined samskaras. You may read from chapter 12 to chapter 24 for more information. Let's discuss an analogy to understand the above situation better. We have been given a jar full of chocolate flavored candies, all having the same taste of chocolate, samskaras. Chocolate is our favorite flavor, predetermined. But each candy is packed in a different wrapper, material outfit. Of course, we are not told that inside the package it's all the same taste. We have free will to basically choose the outer packaging, looks, physical features, etc. of our chosen candy, but ultimately we're delimited by our destiny to only like the chocolate flavor. And thus we basically choose from that pool of available candies in that given jar only. Now, in the above analogy, replace the word candy with spouse and one might get some idea on what constitutes their destiny and what constitutes their free will in their own marriage. Hence, we are free to exercise our free will but limited by our own taste or affinities which arise due to our own previous birth karmas. Hence, it becomes a combination of both free will and determinism. Thus, instead of fully concurring with the famous Western notion of marriages are made in heaven and celebrated on earth, we'll modify it a bit to fit our Hindu theology as follows. It's most right to say that as per Hinduism, the basic blueprint of marriage is indeed made predetermined destiny in heaven by our own previous birth karmas and the actual material construction of the blueprint is self-chosen by us, free will, and thus celebrated on earth. Hope you like this explanation. Subscribe, watch and share our other videos too. Thank you.